So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over into the Windows Recovery Environment screen. This is how it looks like. Now to get here, there are two ways. Now for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. Now, if you cannot sign into Windows, you wanna go to the timestamp, which I wanna leave on the screen right now. So if you can sign into Windows, you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. And then next to advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now and then click on restart now again. It's gonna take you into that screen. And now if you cannot sign into Windows, to get to this screen, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it on again. Now, when your computer turns on again, you're gonna be seeing the Windows loading screen. Now, as soon as you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button again and then turn it on again. You wanna repeat this three times. And then after you repeat this three times, when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly. When it says this, you wanna click on advanced options and then it will take you into the Windows recovery environment screen. And now once you're in this screen, you wanna click on troubleshoot and then you wanna click on advanced options. And we have some things that we can try here. So for the first method, you wanna click on system restore. If you do not see system restore, you wanna click on see more recovery options and then it should appear right here. But yeah, so you wanna click on system restore and now once you're on this, you might have a restore point already. So if you do have one, you wanna click on next and then you wanna go back to your previous restore point and then that should fix your problem. But if you do not have a restore point like me, that's fine. You wanna click on cancel. And then instead, we're gonna click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. And then you wanna click on start of repair. Click on this. And now it's gonna diagnose your PC. Let's see if this fixes your problem. You wanna let this load. Now for me, in my case, it didn't work. But in your case, it might also say this as well, that you couldn't repair your PC. But you could actually try to restart your computer after you run this startup repair, and then hopefully that'll fix your problem. But if not, you just want to come back into here, and then click on advanced options. And now we're going to go into the third method. And now for the third method, you want to click on troubleshoot, and then click on advanced options, and then click on command prompt. And now once you're in here, you want to type in C colon, click on enter. And then you want to type in CD space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config and click on enter and now you want to type in md space backup click on enter and now you want to type in copy space star dot star space backup click on enter again and now you want to type in cd space reg back click on enter and now you want to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot click on enter and now you want to type in a click on enter again for me, it doesn't work, so now this problem, but in your case, it should be working. And now you want to type in exit, click on enter again. And now you want to continue on to Windows 11, or Windows 10, or whatever you're using. And then the problem should be fixed.